In this video, I'm going to talk about the third component of ARIMA models, that is the moving average part of uh, the ARIMA models. And uh, we saw that in the autoregressive part, we include the lag values of yt variable to explain variation in yt so that we can forecast based on the lag values. Now we can do the same thing with the error and we can include uh, q error terms in the model and uh, this type of model is called maq model that is the moving average of uh, order q that is we are trying to explain yt variable in terms of uh, q lags of uh, the error term so in this case we are trying to use uh, q forecast error in our regression model and uh, this type of model is uh, again called maq model so here is an example in the first example i'm using just one error term to explain this yt variable now this type of uh, model is called ma1 model because we are including uh, just one lag of uh, the error term so this is the original error term and then we are including uh, a lagged value of uh, this error term in this model as well this is why it is called uh, ma1 model similarly we can include two lags of uh, the error term in the model as well and we can regress a model like this now we are explaining yt in terms of uh, two forecasting errors this is why it is called ma2 model this is a way of uh, explaining yt variable in terms of uh, forecasting errors and this type of model is called uh, moving average model and we include q lags of uh, the forecast error in our model to forecast our variable of interest yt now the real question will be how many lags of uh, this uh, epsilon term we should be including uh, in our model and again this will be the question that i will be answering uh, later on but essentially the concept here is to include the forecast errors to explain uh, yt variable all right i'll see you in the next video to bring everything together and talk about uh, arima models